Welcome to the Dark Horse Chess Channel. Today we have an overview of the Smith Moore Gambit declined. The Smith Moore Gambit can be declined on Black's second or third move. We will be looking at both options in this video. Chicken Defense Number 1 French Defense. Here e6 transposes into the French defense. The best move here is to go d5. White has an open queen file. Both bishops have great range. This bishop can't move. This bishop has limited range. White has a nice advantage here. Here there are two main moves for black. Knight to f6 and d6. On knight to f6 Best move is just to take the pawn. Black can't really take it this way because we kick the knight over to d5 and then bishop to d3 sets white up for a nice kingside attack against his weakness there on f7. So he almost has to take it this way. Then you go queen takes queen, king takes queen. And here you can maybe pin the knight, move this knight out, and castle queen side with a check, and white has a nice advantage. After d6, white's best move is to go c4, grab some space, and restrict the movement of black's pieces. Both these bishops are bad, and this knight can't move out to c6. White has a nice advantage here. The best move for black is just to go g6 and get up some space for his dark squared bishop. White's counter move for this is bishop to f4 and attack black's weakness at d6. White has a nice advantage here. Chicken defense number 2. Black moves g6 on move 2. After g6, white's best move is go d5. Then after bishop to g7, play c4, grab some space, and try and transpose into the chicken defense 1. After e6 and knight to c3, the black knight cannot come to f6 because of e5, and the knight has to go back to g8. Then after knight to f3, white has a huge advantage. So the black knight has to go to e7. And black's position will be cramped for the next 10 to 15 moves. This bishop can't move, and this knight cannot go out to c6. A good plan of attack for white is to go h4, or he could just develop normally, knight to f3. And this bishop has two great squares. It could go to g5 and pin the knight, or it could go to f4 and control this juicy diagonal. White has a big advantage here. Chicken defense number 3. Black moves d5 on move 2. After d5, white's best move is to go e takes d5 and bring the queen out. White can't move his knight to f3 because the bishop to g4 with the pin on the queen. So the white Knight needs to go to e2 and protect this pawn. After knight to f6, white should move the knight to c3 and kick the queen. The queen has many squares to go. d8, d6, c6, or h5. But anyway, white has a slight advantage in this position. Chicken defense number 4. Black accepts the first pawn and plays e5 on move 3. Here are the many lines white can play. Let's look at a common line. Knight to f3, knight to c6, and bishop to c4. After knight to f6, white can do a fried liver move with knight to g5. Black has to play d5 here. E takes D, knight to A5, bishop to B5 check, bishop to D7, and after queen to E2, the position is about equal.
Chicken defense number 5. Black accepts the first pawn and plays knight to f6 on move 3. After knight to f6, this transposes into the c3 Sicilian. Recommended move here is to go e5 and kick the knight over to d5. After knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4. Knight to b6, bishop to b3. There is tons of theory on this, and white has a slight advantage. Chicken defense number 6. Black accepts the first pawn and plays d5 on move 3. Here in move 3, black plays d5. The best move is to go e takes d5, then queen takes d5. Here white can't move to knight to f3 because the bishop will pin it. So the best move here is to go c takes d4. And then later on you can go knight to c3 and then kick the queen that way. So black will almost always go e5 and get ready to pin the knight with bishop to b4. But now you can go knight to c3 because after bishop to b4 you have a little trick. Knight to c3, bishop to b4, queen to a4 check, knight to c6, queen takes bishop, knight takes queen, knight takes queen, knight takes knight. And then after knight takes pawn, white wins a pawn. Bishop to e6, bishop to b5, king up, and after white castles, white is way ahead. Chicken defense number 7. Black accepts the first pawn and plays knight to c6 on move 3. Here black plays knight to c6 on his third move. The best move here is just to take the pawn and develop a nice pawn center. One good move for black is to go d5, attacking the pawns. And after pawn takes pawn, queen takes pawn, we have a similar position as in the chicken defense 6. But here, white can play knight to f3, because after bishop to g4, white has another trick. Knight to c3, bishop takes knight, knight takes queen, bishop takes queen, knight check, king over, knight takes rook. Bishop to h5, and white has the advantage. Another trick is coming after f3, knight takes d4, bishop to f4, knight check, king up, knight takes rook, bishop to b5, and if black tries to save the knight by going to c2, white has mate in 4 with rook. The D1. Thanks for watching.